Greetings, beloved. Welcome back to the Wednesday Word. I'm Chelsea. Beloved, today I would like to share a dream with you that I had this morning around 4.35 on June 13th, 2019. Before I delve into that dream, beloved, I want to ask you today to be a participator, partner with me today in prayer. I'm not asking for your finances. Partner with me in prayer today. Don't just be a spectator. Be a participator, be a participant. If you're coming just to hear a word or just to have your ears tickled, it really is a disservice to you. You need to participate. It's better to participate. I'm asking you to participate in prayer. It's better to participate than just to spectate or be a bystander. This is a dream the Lord gave me concerning the USA, the United States of America and China. For 2019, one of the things the Lord said would happen was that there was going to be an increase in the prophetic and an increase in the supernatural. I've seen those things take place in my own life. The Lord made me some specific promises, things that I've seen increase precept upon precept here in 2019. But very recently, the Lord came to me and said, it's time to now increase more in this area. Are you willing? I said to the Lord, yes, Father, I am willing. And the Lord then said to me, are you willing to pay the price? And I said, yes, Lord, I'm willing to pay the price. The price that the Lord spoke to me about is the price of prayer. The Lord showed me that there were going to be times when he would reveal things to me that would require me to immediately start in prayer, to immediately get up out of bed and start praying. Such was the case, beloved, this morning. The Lord came to me with a revelation, and that required is getting up out of bed and getting into prayer. The word that I had to share with you today is a clarion call, which requires us to pray. As we began to increase in things in this season with the Lord, the things in the prophetic, the things in the supernatural, the Lord is calling us to prayer. You don't have to have a title to pray, beloved. You don't have to be a prophet. You don't have to be an apostle, an evangelist, a teacher, a preacher. You don't even have to have the title as an intercessor. If you are a child of God, that makes you a prayer. So take on that title as a prayer to pray out the will of God, to pray out the plan of God. When God gives us dreams, beloved, it's to bring revelation, but it also usually requires some form of action. And the action that's required today is praying. The revelation the Lord gave me in this dream, beloved, was concerning the USA, the United States of America, and China. I'm not going to share all the details of the dream, but I will share what I'm permitted to share today. In this dream, beloved, the Chinese army came into the United States of America and they went into a certain state and they captured a certain area in this state. They took United States citizens and residents into captivity, in bondage, into a camp. A lot of things went on in this camp. I'm not really going to go into too much detail there. But one of the things that I saw happening in the camp as I was there also was that the Chinese army gave candies like halls to the youth, to the small children and older children in the camp. And these candies were actually poisonous. As the children put the candy uh, in their mouths and began to suck on them, it was poisonous to their bodies and was killing some of the children. So we were going around pulling these candies out of the mouths of the children, pulling these so-called sweets out of the mouths of the children and helping them to survive. A lot of things happened in this camp. Unfortunately, there were some casualties. I remember, beloved, when I was in the camp, I said to myself, where is the army? And then I said out loud, where is the United States Army? Why haven't they come to rescue us? I heard this man then reply, the United States Army is busy. They're too busy to come and help. And he said so sarcastically. So a lot of activities went on during this dream, beloved. Things happened, some very unpleasant things. But then at some point, the army took us, United States residents and 
uh, United States uh, citizens. The army of China took us outside of the camp, outside of the compound, where we had to go and pick figs and leaves, different things that they were requiring us to sustain ourselves, to feed ourselves with. And during that process, beloved, I then saw this area that we were in surrounded by the United States Army. And when I saw that, I remember someone saying in the camp that we had been in bondage by the Chinese Army for a period of eight to 10 years. But then I saw the United States Army surround the camp, beloved, and it was just such a relief, but there was still a fear there. Then I heard, beloved, I heard the captain of the United States Army say, Americans, pick up your swords. And all of us who were American citizens and American residents, we picked up our swords, which were like these uh, silver, shiny, rod, sword-looking things, which I know represents the Word of God. Then I heard the Army commander give the second command, and he said, now raise your American flags. And all of us who were American citizens and residents raised our American flags, and there were just so many beautiful American flags displayed around the compound, beloved. That represents freedom. The United States represents freedom. When you see the flag, it's a symbolism of freedom. It's also a symbolism of unity, unity in prayer, but also unity as a nation. Then, beloved, I heard the United States Army commander give the third command, and he said, now pray to God and ask for forgiveness because we are about to go into war and there will be casualties. So we prayed, we prayed to God and asked God to forgive us as we engaged in war, in the battle. And then finally, beloved, I heard the captain of the army give the fourth command and he said, now engage in battle because we will defeat the Chinese army. So beloved, here we were, citizens of the USA, residents of the USA. We had our swords, our flags were out, and we had our swords, and we began to go into battle with the Chinese army. Even the children were battling with their swords, beloved, and we defeated the Chinese army. I remember just rejoicing because I saw so many children there, so many youth that were also a part of this who I was afraid that they wouldn't get away. I was afraid that they were too small to fight in this army. I was afraid that they wouldn't know how to use a sword, but they did. They wielded those swords, beloved, and we defeated the Chinese army. After that took place, beloved, I remember looking around once more as we were outside of this compound. I remember looking around and I saw this vehicle, which I'm not going to name now, but I saw this vehicle which identified for me what city we were in and what specific location we were in. And I thought to myself, how could this happen here? How is it possible that this happened here? This is supposed to be a happy place. This is supposed to be a safe place. So the place where it happened was very much unexpected. It was a place where people were always happy, where people would go to have a good time. It was a very much unexpected place for such an attack to happen, beloved. But the final word on this is that we overcame the enemy. We triumphed. And beloved, as I woke up out of this dream, my eyes went straight to the clock, which was glaring 444. And I knew that this dream was and is a clarion call. God gives us dreams, beloved, so that he'll show us revelation, of course. He wants to show us his plans. He'll also reveal the plan of the enemy. But the ultimate purpose of it, beloved, is to have that revelation so that we can pray out the plan of God, so that we can cancel things from happening. I want to ask you today, beloved, to not be a bystander, but to be a participant. We need to be praying for the USA. We need to be praying for China. We need to be interceding for all the nations of the world. Some things we know have to happen, of course, to fulfill the scriptures. But some things, beloved, God gives us the authority to intervene in the realm of man to cancel certain things. That's why he gives us these dreams to pray, beloved. If you call yourself a child of God, a born-again believer of Jesus Christ. I'm asking you today, beloved, to pray, to intercede. Pray for the United States of America. Pray for China. Pray for peace. Pray for the relations of the United States of America and China. The Lord says in his word that it is not his will that any should perish. The Lord wants all saved. 
That's our duty. That is our clarion call today is to pray for China, to pray for the United States of America, to pray, beloved. Pray for the peace of these two nations, but also pray in your heavenly language, beloved, because the word of God again says that we don't know what we ought to pray. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, makes intercession for us. So pray in your heavenly language. That way we're praying out the direct plan of God. We know specifically what to do because the Holy Spirit knows what to pray and the Holy Spirit will pray that through us. See the United States of America and China as you're praying. See that in your mind. See how God is bringing those things together. See how God is bringing peace together. See how God is working things out with these two nations as you pray. You should always pray with a focus, especially when you're praying in tongues. You don't just want to be praying just to pray and praying on autopilot. You need a focus. You need a focus, beloved. I hope I can count on you, beloved. I hope you'll say, yes, count me in. I will do this. You serve a purpose. I spoke on uh, Sunday about the Lord just wanting to ignite some of you, that it's time for you to step out. For some of you, it's that you've been called to be an intercessor. It is time for you to step up and start interceding, praying out the plan of God, praying out the will of God. And for all of us, we should always be praying. We should always be interceding. Maybe not as much as an intercessor, but definitely when the Lord gives that clarion call, it's time for us to come together in unity as the body of Christ because when we pray together, especially when we pray in the Spirit together on one accord, things happen, mountains are moved, the plan of the enemy is demolished, the plan of God comes to full manifestation. And that's what God has empowered us with today, beloved. Those tools to pray together in unity as one body, the body of Christ, to see his plan come forward in this time, in this day. I'm asking you, beloved, not just to pray for today or to pray for tomorrow, but continually pray concerning this until you get a release from the Father in heaven. Beloved, thank you for tuning in. God loves you. He wants you to be a part of this. He wants you to be a part of his end time army. If you are a born again believer, you are a part of the end time army. Now rise up, take your place, step into your role, and let's do this thing together. Beloved, I love you. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.